Welcome to Sunday Crafternoons. My name is Dawn and I'm here today in Saskatoon, which is in Treaty 6 territory, traditional homeland of the Métis. We are all treaty people. I am here today in a space by myself, so I'm going to take my mask off so that hopefully you can hear me a little bit better. Our craft today is inspired by spring. I start to get anxious around this time of year for green growing things. I'm not sure if you feel the same way, but I'm just really excited to see something, anything grow. So today we're going to do a little crafting project, turning a yogurt container into a little bit more visually appealing option for a plant pot. What you'll need for our craft today should be readily available in your house. If you have a yogurt container, a sour cream container, anything that's about this size, you could also use smaller ones depending on what you'd like to grow. And you'll need some glue. The white school glue is what I used today. Um, some old magazines, newspapers, books, anything that you feel you don't need to keep anymore and you could cut apart and some scissors and that is it. So to start the craft, I looked through the magazines and I found pictures or backgrounds that all had a similar color scheme. For this one, I went quite bright, but the colors are all similar from picture to picture. And then I used a piece of heavier paper and I cut out a diamond shape and this was my template. And I actually cheated and I folded the page over. Um, let me show you an example and I folded my diamond in half. So I would fold the page over like this and then put my folded diamond or triangle now on the folded edge and then I would just cut around it. And when I opened it up, I had a little diamond shape. So you need to cut out a whole bunch of these little diamonds in whatever colors you'd like. And they don't have to match, it can be whatever appeals to you. This one that I did today is all in more muted tones, so we'll use that. But this one again, was pretty bright and colorful. And then once you have them all laid out and ready, and what I actually did is lay them out so that the diamonds were in a pattern so that I didn't have too many that were the same beside each other. So that's why it's nice to lay it out. And you'll notice there's little spaces at the top of each diamond that you'll want to add a little triangle in around the top and the bottom of your container. So then you can either cut some of those in half or I just used when you cut the page, there's a little triangle left over. I used those and kept them to fill in these spaces after at the top and the bottom. All right, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is water down a little bit of glue. So I just took an old cup, you can use any kind of a container that you don't mind throwing away, paper cup, um, even a paper plate would work fine. And I took a little bit of glue and a little bit of water just to make it a bit runnier, and I'm using a paintbrush. Lay something down on your table while you're crafting just so you don't get glue dripped all over the table. And this is what we do. You just use your paintbrush and you uh, spread on some of the watered down glue. I spread it quite thinly. We're going to do a layer of this over the top. So you don't need to put on too much. It doesn't need to be dripping down the container. You should actually barely see that it's on there except that it's a bit shiny. And then you just start placing your pieces. I just went up to the rim where the first bump is. And the first time I left um, on this example, a little bit of space between the pieces, but I think I actually like it a bit better without the space. See for yourselves what you like as you start. But, and if you don't leave a space, it gives you a little bit more leeway for if you don't get your pieces entirely straight. You can overlap them just a little bit. But that's a start. So then you just slowly add your pieces on. The little edges tend to pop up for a few minutes while it's drying. So if you just uh, spread your glue on a small section at a time, then you can take a few moments and just keep tapping them and pressing them down until they stick. And then what I was doing is just gluing another section and then slowly working around the container. 
that's a start. When you get to the end of the plant pot, you might find that there's a little gap and things don't work out quite perfectly. I found that I kind of uh, angled mine upwards and so at some point I had to overlap a bit and correct, but you really can't tell. So when you get to the end, if there's a little gap, just overlap them until you like the look of it and it covers all the space. And then the last step that we need to do is to use our watered down glue and just paint a light coat over top. You've created awesome plan pots. Now you need to figure out what to put inside of them. The Saskatoon Public Library has partnered with CHEP and we have created a Saskatoon seed exchange. So CHEP will collect seeds from February to October and you can just bring them into your local library and they'll grab them for you and pass them along. And CHEP will actually count and package the seeds into these little packages and then distribute them back to the libraries so you can come into the library and grab up to five packs per household. So you can plant all sorts of green growing things in your yard and be super creative and enjoy crafting and growing this summer. Have a great day.